Okay, we're gonna make a very very short problem related to parabolic motion, projectile motion. Um, in this drawing we see a cannonball that is being fired at a 38 degree angle above the horizontal. The speed or the velocity that is being described is 12 meters per second. So the question is what is the horizontal component of this velocity, of the velocity of the ball? Well, there are several ways to do it. The first one that we're going to try is basically applying uh, trigonometry. We know that we have already the angle, right? 38 degrees, and we are looking for the horizontal component. Let me change the color so we can see it. Let's make it orange. Horizontal component of this velocity. Okay, this horizontal component is related to the angle in mention and the vector because we have, let me explain it over here, this could be our hypotenuse and we are looking for this horizontal component and here we have a right angle. So we have a value of 12 right here, we have an angle of 38 and we are looking for this side. So basically we need a function that relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse and that function is of course cosine because cosine of the angle equals the adjacent which in this case happens to be the x component of the velocity divided by the hypotenuse so I'm gonna write it down over here so Cosine of the angle, our angle is 38, right? It's going to be equals, 38 degrees, it's going to be equals to the adjacent, which we already said happens to be the x component of the velocity, so that's why I'm going to call it vx. On the bottom, we're going to have the hypotenuse, which in this case is 12 meters per second. Well, we are looking, of course, for this uh, Vx. All that we have to do is cross multiply right here. So if we multiply cosine of 38 times 12 meters per second, this is going to give us 9.4 meters per second. That's going to be our Vx, the x component of this velocity vector right here. So this is very a very short problem. I just want you to practice um, this vectorial um, uh, operation, just finding one of the components of the vector, in this case the x component, which you are going to need for more complex problems.